Hello me on Marcus, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Now obviously, in the last video we got a very flamboyant interruption, and you know what, it was kind of refreshing, right? We've been interrupted a lot in our journey, but it was kind of refreshing seeing him again. Now, we have made it to the finals of the Pokemon Championship. Now, a quick reminder of the party if you are unaware, we have Runagross, who has actually been a like a big help in this playthrough so far. Um, I am going to lead with him in all these matches just because of Toxic Spikes. What I might see... Can I put Stealth Rocks on Runegrass? If I have a Stealth Rock TM and I can put it on Runegrass, that's going to be a much better option because of a certain person's um, Charizard. Don't have a stealth box to yet. Bollocks. Anyone want a lump powder? No, okay. It's alright. So, I can't remember who the first fight is. So let's find out. Either way, I think leading with Runa Rigorous is the best idea. finals of the championship cup the trainers who are going to fight each other are me who is it oh nessa all right she has a um, gigantamax dreadnought and that's all i remember i've also just realized i'm leading with a uh, ground type against a water type user so i i might get a bit bullied here that's all right. I guarantee that my big boy, Runebrus, can survive any attack this Glissapod throws at me so we can lay down the spikes. I only have a level advantage. That's something. Alright, that's gone for the setup. I know she plans to sweep with the support. I'm gonna see if I can get the two layers of spikes down. Oh my fucking god. I did not expect that. Okay, um, can anyone do anything? It's bug water. So Chandelure, I really don't want to use. I'm gonna go with Aegis Lash and hit it with a Retaliate. Faster. Oh, that only did half. Oh, it's got Shadow Claw too. Oh, th this is not going to end well. Oh, I'm s it's so stacked against me. Right, how fast is Aegis Slash? Speed stat is 78. I could send in anything but Delmise, outspeed, and hope to end it with an attack through sheer power. I'm going to send in the big boy. Um, I'm going to go with Shadow Ball because I can guarantee it doesn't resist that. I'm not sure on Sludge Bomb. The top of my head. That's alright. We got one of our Pokemon down. And she got two of my Pokemon out. This isn't a great lead. Right, Barraskewda. Huh? 
I'm going to switch into Damwise. The Giga Drain, as well as just overall bulk, might be useful. Plus, it's my team's cross type. This thing is definitely faster. 100%. How much do we do in terms of damage? Oh, we kill it. Okay, Damwise can stay in for quite a bit. Keeps, you know, bringing that kind of energy. Alright, Pelipper. Alright, that's part flying type. Um, do I got anything with super effective against flying. I don't. I'm going to go for sheer power here. In the terms of the big boy. I kind of want to save Delmai's for... Uh, Dreadnought. And again, I could also use Gengar against Dreadnought because I'm pretty sure my Gengar has energy ball. Same with my Chandelier. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Sludge Bomb and hope this one taps. I don't think it will. Yeah, Pelop is kind of thick. But, it dies at the end of this turn. But now every Pokemon up her is probably faster than mine. Bugger. Yes, yeah, Sea King. I'm gonna go back into Delmise. Because even if the Sea King does damage, Delmise can do Giga Drain to get some health back before it goes up against the Dreadnought. I don't think this thing's got Pet. But probably got Ice Beam. Uh, I think that's the only coverage this thing can have. But I am probably about to be proven wrong. I'm just going for Aqua. Could be a bulky build. Because that is a pretty thick fish. Yeah, I think it is a bulky build. Any water types Nessie or moves Nessie uses, it's going to do a lot of damage just because of the rain. And the full restore doesn't help me either. Leftovers? Water bail. Yeah, no, I forgot about that already. Right, go for the anchor shot. Ooh, Mega Horn. Um, no, that's neutral because of the ghost typing. I'm going to be honest, I was expecting how to use enough for full restore. So it looks like they've only got one full restore. And they've lost their tailwind. Alright, I'm going to keep Delmice in against Dreadnought. Because even if it goes down, at least it's gotten rid of a turn of this thing's Gigantamax. I am fully expecting it to have crunch on it. But it's no longer buff, it's water type moves. And there's no way I can poison stall this thing. I've lost half the party. I'm guessing Gengar is still fastest. He 
Yeah. Gonna go with Jellison. By some miracle, I outspeed. I can hit it with the war spout. This is gonna do good damage. Alright, don't outspeed. Red Hawk, quick Pokemon. Oh, but I survive it. Which means it's gotta take the last two turns of its teammates. On Jackson. Taking a pretty good amount of damage from poison. And. Uh, the blue spout. But I should be able to finish it. With energy ball from game. Hopefully. Yeah, right. Actually, I have me worried there for a minute. Especially given the fact we lost Rude Reverse right out the gate. I was fully hoping Rude Reverse would take that hit. I forget how much, how like physically, like aggressive a Glissapod is. But we managed to defeat Nessa. I just need to remember this time who it is I'm fighting next. Right, I'm fighting B. And then probably Raihan. Alright, B is a pure fighting type user. Alright, let's heal everyone up. They got a bit smacked around there. Oh, they already get healed for me. Lovely. I didn't notice that. Alright, so the next video will be me against B in the Champion Cup. Now, of course, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.